Hello, I'm Bob Allison, WB1GCM, inside the ARRL Media Room. I'm going to show you the Comet CAA500 Mark II Standing Wave Antenna Analyzer. This is a hefty unit. It has the dual meters up here, controls here, screen. These are your antenna ports. For antennas 1.8 to 300, you use this one. This end connector is for antennas designed for 300 to 500 megahertz. The back side is the battery compartment. I put six alkaline batteries in there for this review. And I'll turn it around a little bit here, and here's your DC power in. The power button's here. I'll turn it on. And as you can see, we have the dual meters functioning. Over here is the SWR, starting from 1 to 1, working all the way past 6 to 1. After 6 to 1, it goes into the red. You want to try to keep your SWR at 2 to 1 or lower. Over on the other side is the absolute impedance over here, from 0 up past 200 ohms. Now, I'm going to try to determine the resonant frequency of my magnetic loop. I call it the hula loop, made out of a hula hoop. Well, I'm going to check the uh, band uh, knob right here. I'm going to turn that and select it to a range that's closest to where I think the resonant frequency is. So uh, I'm at the top end of 40 meters, and I'm going to adjust the frequency knob very carefully, and let's see what happens, if I can get the SWR to go down low. Oh, it's getting lower, it's getting lower, it's getting lower, and right about there is the resonant frequency. We're on 7264 kilohertz. Now, let's have a closer look at the screen. Well, hope you can all see the screen. Here's the battery indicator right here. This is the frequency in which the analyzer is tuned to. This is a frequency range, a rough frequency range. And right here, there's this little red mark that says I'm right around 7. Yes, indeed, I am on 7 megahertz. Below that is the SWR graph right here. It's lit up with this little green box. And on the bottom it says ohms, that's your impedance. Now it's interesting, I can actually draw a little chart manually on this screen. What I do is I press the graph button, and now I'm going to set the limits. I'm centered on 72.65, and when I press that, it says 72.70 right here. Now these are blinking. Those my, that's my bandwidth that I want to set. I can select the bandwidth by turning the band button to uh, 650 kilohertz on a side, or is that 850? That is kind of small. <laughs> 50 kilohertz on a side, I'll set it to. Press the uh, bandwidth button. And now if I carefully turn the frequency knob, look, I'm plotting a little chart. And I'll rock it back and forth here a little bit, a few times, and you can see that I'm drawing a little chart right on the graph. That's pretty nifty. It'll also do it automatically. I'm Bob Allison, WB1GC. I'm here at ARRL headquarters.